Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. Here we are for another episode. Still taking on um, Caroline over here. Miss Caroline. Very, very painful. Um, we're going to try and get up there and take down some more of this. Hopefully get it finished today. Fingers crossed. So I think we're up to that stage from where we left off. This level up is pretty much good to go, I think. So I think I might just start taking out the floors above. Um, I've adjusted the gamma as well. I know when it gets dark, it's it's tough for you guys to be able to bloody see. So I've asked the devs for possibly a day only um, option, if possible. Highly unlikely, but it would be nice because it just makes it so much easier just being able to see what the hell we're doing and knowing that you guys can see properly without it being too dark. You know YouTube does make things already darker post edit and upload and stuff so if we can minimize that that would be even better. don't think I can get through to that one. Ah. Frustrating. I have to go through the back here, I think. Knock that down. Pick that up. Don't even know if I can even get to that one from there. Right, did that. It's not even the one I'm thinking of. It's this one. Yeah. Still can't see the bloody thing. It should allow us to bang it from the inside, shouldn't it? Ooh, there's one. I oh know. Where the hell did those. Ah, oh, it's already fallen down. I'm thinking. Oops. Where the hell did all that go? But because I knocked the wall down, it's already knocked everything else down with it. Look at that, now we're picking up heaps of things at a time. Nice. So now our inventory is getting full too quick. But I think... We did, they must have fell down the other side somewhere. I'm assuming... Oh, there's one somewhere. Uh, there's another one. Nope, too much. Definitely grab on a couple of things at a time now, which is really good. Alright, next room. Keep focusing on the roof. Ah, these hitboxes. Shocking. I don't know if you want the light on or off. I think now that I've increased the gamma, we don't really need the torch as much. Uh, let me make sure there's no, no floor out there. I don't know if there's a floor in here though. No, there's not. Okay, good. Now I can't. Oh, I was gonna say now I can't get out, but again, walk straight through it. That's fine. Right. So the um the uploads of this aren't going overly well. Like it, they were started off really well, and now it's sort of slowed down a bit. I don't know if you guys are getting uh bored of it or if it's just now yeah, the game's out everyone's too busy playing the game themselves I don't know yeah the uploads like the views and likes and stuff has dropped quite a bit still enjoying playing though that's probably the main thing as I've said to anyone um, that's been on this channel for a long time I really only record play upload stuff that I enjoy um, I don't want this to feel like a bloody a second job for me. I do it just as a hobby. Um, and anyone else that I find that's like a new content creator, I sort of encourage them to do the same. You know, don't don't do a video just because other people like it. You've got to like it too. Otherwise, it's going to come become very very boring. So I don't know if I should. I need to knock down the walls too, maybe. To get the level above to come down. 
possibly. Obviously not right now, it'll come down eventually, but... Don't know what that explosion was. I'm surprised the top floor didn't actually fall down already. So, oh, there we go, something's fallen. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Go and knock these, I suppose. We've got to take the walls down, don't we, to get the, the roof to fall. That's probably what I'm thinking. The whole level above needs to have the walls knocked. fell down. How are we going to get these ones? Maybe from here? Yeah, there we go. Although I don't know how I'm going to get the next level up. Yeah, I need to get that next level up. How the hell am I going to get those? Oh, damn, hit the bloody thing, would you? Says hit to destroy. I'm bloody hitting it. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just confusing myself this morning or or what, but if we knock that down, then all the walls above should fall. Go down this side, knock down all these as well. Slowly, some of the floors are falling. Uh, floors are falling down. <laughs> All right, I need to get back up there again. I think we need to go up and take the floors out from above. I think that's why. Pretty sure it's the floors that we need to take out. And then the walls below. So we take the floors on this level, then that should knock down all the walls. And then the level below, we've got to take the walls first, because if we start taking the floors out, we're going to lose uh, like that engine and stuff, so we don't want that happening. Good just to go through and hit every single one of these and just have a whole ship crumble in one big pile in one go, but just imagine how difficult that's going to be to pretty much go through and not miss anything. Right, so now it's starting to get dark again. I said I've already upgraded, I've increased the gamma. Uh, if I do it again to like Four. I just feel like it's. I just looks stupid. It's way too bright. Maybe let's go three point five. Let's see if that makes a difference. Purely just for night time, but I know because I, I did put a comment um, on the recent update on Steam, and a few people were like just just put the camera up higher. And I'm like, yeah, but that just ruins the look of the game. Like the game just looks stupid with the camera that bloody high. It really does, and I don't want it to look stupid, I want it to still look as good as the game should. I 
Right, is that it? No, no there should be one more room. That room off to the right there is fully done. So this should knock all the walls down. The roof down above it. Oh, Jesus. It did what we wanted. Everything's fallen down. Right, now hopefully we can get these engines out. That's the main thing I'm worried about. They can, oh Jesus, making sure we get these engines out. This cleanup's way easier now, look at that. We've got stuff everywhere to pick up. Right, we need to make sure, right, you're done, you're done. This one's not quite done yet. Ooh, so where's the gold going to be? It's got oil in it. I don't know where the gold's going to be. wonder if it's in the bigger engine downstairs. <laughs> Alright, take that light. Yeah, so everything's got to sort of be close to each other and touching. <laughs> You'd be able to grab multiple things. But it's definitely... Definitely good. I can't wait till we can get some more cargo or carrying capacity with our hands and also let's keep upgrading these gloves. Like it's, it's a bloody good upgrade. This makes it so much quicker, so much easier. It's way better for you guys for content as well, not having to hang around and watch me spending an hour picking up random junk. Don't give me that. There's heaps of stuff that's fallen down there, don't need to worry about that too much. Right, let's cut these out. So high alloy steel and gold, I don't know where the gold's going to be. This should be able to come out now. I don't think there should be anything above it to stop it from coming out. Thank you. I think you said I'm on the way. Yeah, we're going to need to find where this gold is. Is it like a secret room that we've missed? Don't think so. Come on, mate. Get the bloody crane over here. Not the fastest crane operator around, that's for sure. Right, I thought you'd just add it to the list of stuff you got to do. Right, let's so start picking up some more stuff while we can. We'll wait for the crane to drop off its thing and then we'll... You need to come back. Aluminium, oil, iron. We still need a ton more iron as well. Thank you. Alright, make sure we're not trying not to miss anything. I know we're probably going to leave some stuff behind, which we'll probably get it from the layer below anyway. I think I'm going to need to try and get back up there somehow and So we're going to need to grind all that stuff down, I think. Probably should have done that before. Can I get up there? That's the question. Valid target. What do you mean a valid target? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up there now. Can we reach? Hoping this will fall down. I think I'm going to have to get up a little bit higher, so I don't know. 
Can I actually be good if I could jump on things? Six, can I grab that as a target? Yes, we can. All right. I think we're going to need to go through and grind all this down. Purely for this wall. Like that's... Must be one big massive piece, I guess. I don't know. Because it won't allow me to crane it. But then it's not falling apart either, so... Right, we're just going to make sure we grind all this down before we... Try and get further down. Or move back or anything. I mean, this, this is bloody slow. I can just imagine what it's going to be like when we get to that, that, that final ship. But that thing is bloody huge. Right, that engine in the middle might be ready to go, actually. Get down and clean all the stuff off the top of that, and then the whole ship can come down. Yeah, I wonder if there's gold in there somewhere. Hoping it's not something we've destroyed accidentally. But I hope I can get on the other side of this. There's nothing else there. Can I? I can. Good. So I've got to grind that door to the right there. Don't leave that there. That's the only thing that gets left behind. When everything else falls, we're never going to get back to it. So even this stuff under my foot. If I just grind this one. That should knock the whole thing down. Alright, let's have a look. I think there's just these two here and that's it. I think that's all that needs to be done. Let's just grind it just in case, but... I'm not even sure what it's bloody connected to, just to be held up. Quickly bring out the crane. Ah, uh, so it doesn't want us to... Ooh. Aha, that's why the walls aren't falling down. Oop. I thought that was one big piece because I couldn't see anything on the outside to hit. That's better. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. I thought we were going to be in a bit of trouble then. Alright, let's just grab as much as we can. I have no idea where that is going. Right, so these walls might be the same. Why are you not just grind the bloody thing? There we go, Jesus. Right, so that's just about finished. We just need the gold for that other contract and then we're done. Right, much better. Right, so yeah, so those... There's definitely walls on that. Like bits to hit, which I couldn't see from the out. I can't really see it from the outside, I don't think. Like, I couldn't see it from the outside, but. Oh, there we go. Part of it's gone. Right, I need to get this clean. I want to get the top of this engine clean so we can get this thing out. Holy crap, look at all the stuff down here. This 
so I think the gold may be in here. Does make much light, much quicker work if you've got a huge opening. To be able to grab a handful of things at a time is really cool. Alright, let's grab some of this stuff so it looks like it's gone. We need to get down to this engine. Right, now we start just clean up around it. Oh, there's a shitload of stuff here. I think I should probably bring the truck around, to be honest. Oh, throw that in. That's an actual. That exploded. Oops, far away. Oops, what the hell is that on the roof? Oh, that's another box that we've missed. Landed on there, but not quite gone in. Oh, it's just going to make it easier for us now to clean up down here if it's at the front. Or not. Too much. Too much hang time on it. Just I throw it flatter and harder. Come on, pick the bloody thing up. It's too heavy, I think. Alright, just tidy up around the back and then we should be good. We might need to get some more stuff out though before they try and take the engine. <laughs> Alright, one more little bit of clean up I think and then we'll peel it apart and grind the bottoms. What's that? Got? What's that? Aloe steel. Alright, let's get this thing grinded down and see if we can get it out. We might need to take the top level down. Should only be two spots. Getting close to getting through it, but... Thank you. Alright. To start taking out all these walls. Thank you, my friend. Take it away. See what we got out of that. I didn't even actually look to see if there was any gold in that engine. But I'm not sure where the hell the gold's gonna be. Ah, there it is. That's where the gold was. Well, that's all the contracts pretty much done. Uh, let's go around this wall. Can knock out all these walls. Right, I want to go down through here before I forget. Right, is that? Yeah, it is. I thought that was locked still. 
Right, I just want to get this little bit done. I don't know if we should go and... Try and s scrap some more stuff. Right, so we're lucky we didn't... Um, like knock that engine out or anything. I think we're going to need to... Go all around the outside here. As well as the floor and the walls, just because I think it might hold everything onto that outside. Right, that should all fall easily. Yeah, let's take these because it may just hold something up. So that should be all in here done. I think another storage upgrade is probably the priority at the moment, like what we can actually hold and pick up. Done. Right, make sure they're all finished. Just the inside through here, and I think this whole upper level, fingers crossed, should all come down as one. Uh, bloody hope it does, otherwise we're going to be stuck with leaving bits and pieces. Right, let's just go. Like that, and then move back. That work? It's slowly going. I still think it's the floor above we need to get rid of. I don't know if it's like this floor above. I think so. Yeah, the floor, we're still going to knock down the floor above. So, do we have another the ladders just here? Let's start knocking out the floor above. Hit the bloody thing. Why are you not? I so say, why are you not picking that up? Take that, too much of that, we knocked down. Not much by the sounds of it. It's just a relaxing game. It's it's fun, relaxing. Some people are probably gonna hate it. Some people are probably gonna love it. You know, it's like that with any game you play, I suppose. Some people are fans. Some people aren't fans. Just each to their own. Can you? What are you doing? Right, let's save. Won't let me pick anything up. Won't let me change tools. Alright, let's go. Back to main menu. No, we don't want to save. We'll load back in and see if we can continue from there.
That's a very weird bug, that one. Alright, um, get the truck back over there. Actually, while we're here, let's claim these contracts. Uh, con no, contracts, claim, claim, a little bit of extra coinage. Alright, let's go and scrap some stuff. See if we can't get an upgrade or two. We got six tons worth of stuff though, so it's not a great deal, but I think we've got most of the oil and everything. I think most of it's gonna be red anyway. See, we need some oil. I wonder what happens if we um, put in the wrong one. Does that mean we miss out on that? On that product? I don't know. Uh, okay, 273. Can we do... Above, we can. Crate upgrade. Let's see if we can buy the next crate upgrade. Uh, crate, 120. Bloody expensive. Yeesh. Uh, we can do that good. It's 140 capacity. We can do the torch. Or the saw. Let's do the torch. We haven't really done much with the torch yet. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Right, let's go back and try and get some more of this taken down. It's looking pretty bare at the moment. Oops. Right, we were upstairs, weren't we trying to take this bloody floor down? Hit the bloody thing. Alright, so let's try and drop the majority of that down above if we can. Right, a lot of that should be all down still. This should pretty much be all down. It's just over here, there's a little bit somewhere. Just some floors. Is that all of it? No, that looks like there's a little bit over here we've missed. That one, that one, there should be... Oh, that should be it. Right, start grabbing some stuff. Hundred and forty is pretty good now. Still be a little bit better, but it's not. Why are you only picking up some things? Thank you. But once again, like all this scrap that's here, that's next to the ship, it looks like it's our scrap, but it's not. That is. This is where I'd like the option to be able to see what's actually ours. There's all just little bits that have fallen down there that is easy to miss. Right now it's pretty much just a clean up and then we've got to get the floors out of this and look and see what's next after that. Do you want to strip all the walls to make sure the walls are gone? Oops, uh, that's been held up by something. Literally just that. 
just that for there. What are you being held up by? Just that one. Fair enough. God, there's so much to you to clean up. Good if you could upgrade um, and do an auto throw. So as soon as you, you're full, just auto throws it. It's definitely, oh, we're missing a few of these that aren't going. It's three that have missed. I think it's just me moving. But instead of letting it go, like I'm moving as I'm throwing it. Alright, so we might as well stick around until this one's completely done. Like we're at 35 minutes, so... Maybe I should aim for... You no, know, maybe 45 minute episodes or something. Because you'll probably... Yep, that was a great throw. Probably would have um, got through it into even 45 minute episodes, I think. God, there's so much stuff still to pick up. Definitely way happier though with this glove upgrade, that's awesome. Makes a big difference. That didn't even go close. How many? Did, we've missed bloody five boxes. It's not going to be as big a. Oh, Jesus Christ, a clean up. Like when we get to the scrapyard, which is good. It's weird how some of the floors have fallen through, some haven't. I must have um, just loosened those floors completely. That's obviously the next thing after this is taking the floors out. Before I go too far, let's just, yeah, double check over here, make sure we've got everything. Still a couple of things we've missed. Oh, there we go. I can work back towards the front here. Probably need to look at, um... Uh, I guess we probably won't really need to climb up anywhere. This is where it'd be good if we could have a ladder as well. If we do need to get back up and grind something, and we've knocked down the whole ship and we can't get back up there, like what the hell are we going to do to get back up there? Need like a portable ladder or something. Oh dear, there's a lot of mess on this side. Look at it. There's just stuff everywhere. Donk. Thought that was going to miss. There's no way it's going to get out of here. Oh, let's grab, grab that before we go too much further. Is 
that another one that... No, that's one of the ones I missed before. I sort of wait for that noise. I want to make sure it's going in, but... Sometimes I throw it and don't even bother to listen for it. Four boxes left over there. Shouldn't be too much more to grab, I don't think. Can you just place it straight in? No, you still got to throw it. Right, how does that look? I think that's pretty good. Couple of little things we might have missed. See a few things on this side. I know these will eventually fall down anyway. A lot of grinding to do. I if I can get back up there now. Ah, uh, can we... Yeah, we need to get back up there. Didn't even look at this floor. spot behind me there. <laughs> right, and then we're going to have to grind those little bits off the edge. All apart from the other bit of the ship. So let's focus on this back part before we go taking out those other floors and stuff. <laughs> so we should have to grind part of it off. Oh, I should have said weld. Look at that, that's heaps quicker. Gotta love upgrades. Oops, what the hell? I thought it would have knocked down all of it. Don't know why the hell I threw that box at the back then, I didn't even press Q. Alright, number five. There we need... So it gets cut from here, so everything from here back we've got to take down. out too. Bows. Alright, there we go. And we should be able to grind that away. God, it's still so bloody time consuming. Didn't think that's going to make it then. It's 
hard to see all just all these little bits. I guess that's why it's good to have the glove upgrade. Because if you're unsure of anything and it's definitely ours, it'll just grab it if you're grabbing something close enough to it. Didn't think that was going to make it then. Still some bloody tall bits in the middle there. Oh, still got a bit more floor to knock out there. Yep, ten, ten tons in the truck already. Imagine how heavy this bloody thing was going to be. Uh, where are we? Right, perfect. That should be enough to get this back part back part cut away. Right, uh just a couple of bits to grind. From there, so we've got to do this bit as well. And the bits above. Yeah, there's bits above on that side too. And then the little bit to weld. I don't. Do we up? No, we haven't upgraded it. No, we did upgrade our torch. Only upgraded at one level, but. I don't know why they don't just all break together. It's so much easier. Right, that should be... Yep, all of those. Let's actually... Cut through this first. I don't know if there's a way to do it which is faster, or you just hold it and cut each section. So I feel like if you let go at all, it, um... See, so if I go like this, up and down, then let go, it starts to cool down again. So I think just doing it a section at a time is probably the way to go. out. Hopefully that should be it. Uh, a couple above. Come and grab that bit, please. Thank you. All right, let's work on the floor. This thing's just about completely gutted. I grab myself a quick screenshot. With a thumbnail, of course. Done. And then we've got to focus on the other side. Let's clean up over here first and then... We sort of break it down like we did before. You know, go section for section. I think it just makes it way easier. But now the the thing we're going to be short on now, I think, is 
um, or oil, and then cash for upgrades. But you can see we're pretty low on cash, so I need to make sure we can actually afford to buy the next, the next boat as well, the next ship. We can't afford to be buddy buying all these upgrades if we can't afford to go up to that next, the next ship that we need to scrap. Definitely way quicker. I think these the glove upgrade and the storage upgrade is probably the two biggest ones. Just purely for cleanup, like it's but it takes us a bit longer to knock something down or grind something away. Like I can deal with that, but the cleanup is the worst part. Alright, let's throw these guys in. It's good that the truck doesn't have a capacity either. There's a, a box all the way over here. How the hell did that get all over there? And that. I don't know how that even stuck. We didn't even get to pick that up. Just yeet it. Yeah, we can't even pick those up now. Holy shit, that's way further than I thought it was going to go. Right. That needs to be... How does that need to get pulled apart? I know it's not unlocked. How does it get unlocked? It's showing me that there's a gap here. But I can't see... Where it needs to be cut apart from each other. Oh, here, I think. Which is weird. I don't understand that. But anyway. We could do a challenge where we take half. Half the ship down and leave the other half up still. That'd be an interesting sort of challenge. I think if we just take these out, that whole thing should fall. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> See ya, ship. taken this floor out and that should be the end of this the end of this ship hopefully it's been a very very lengthy one and they're only going to get longer and longer beautiful once again, if we just work our way from the back to the front, staying in sections. Easy clean up. Yeah, I'm sort of excited, like, I think it's not so much the ships that I get excited about demolishing them, I think it's the upgrades. Which may be a little bit weird, but I'm not like a, a ship person, like, I don't know absolutely anything about ships, port side, starboard side, I know that's a thing, which is left, which is right, I've got no idea. Oh no, I thought that was going to miss for sure then. Huh. 
All right, then we just got to cut some sides off, and then ah, uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, I think two 45-minute episodes would have been ideal for this, but I think the first one was only 30 minutes. And I could, you know, just get started, do a time-lapse and bring you guys back at the end as well, but... I personally think that this is one of those games that... Because there's so much control movement... Like with a mouse, can you imagine, you know, doing these ones with a time-lapse? Yeah. Probably not going to be good. Probably make a lot of you guys dizzy. If my content doesn't already make you sick enough, let's not do it on, on purpose. Alright, I think that's it. I can't see anything else. Oh, there's a light here. I'll grab that. Uh, get this cut. Do we need to get it cut? There's not one there, there's only one at the front, I think. I don't know why we need to... Well, this to unlock it. We'll cut this to unlock it like it's not connected to anything. Number five. Yeah, thank you. Alright, get that taken away. One little piece over there, just going to do a quick scout around. Make sure there's nothing that I can see. I think that's it. <laughs> nothing falls out, nothing's left behind, thank you. This is Caroline. Right, we'll need to wait for that to get dumped first before we go to the scrap. Can I pick that up? That's like a... Good if you could pick up random oil barrels and stuff. Another 800 kilos low alloy steel. Right. Combo of 72. Oh, combo's still going. I oh, know, it started again. I was going to say. This should all pretty much be red. Couple of bits of plastic. I think it's plastic anyway. It's a lot of steel. Holy crap, that's a lot of steel. Forty-five bucks for a perfect sort. Not going to complain about that at all. All right, we need to go and have a look and see what the next ship is. Seventy-five bucks for the Scop Witch. We can do that. We can afford that. So let's scrap this guy straight away. Uh, go to the Scop Witch. We'll buy that. Then we'll look at um. Uh, what the hell am I not running? Because I'm pressing Q, not W. Right, we'll make some sales of some stuff. So, sell about 21,000 kilos. Non metals we'll keep. 113. Hell yeah. Alright, um. 240 bucks. Wow. Is the hammer better or this? Let's go to the crate first. How much does that cost to actually upgrade if we can do it? 60 bucks. So we need about 300 bucks. So can we get 170 bucks from scrap somewhere? 
probably cool. Let's go 800. Uh, let's go three and a half. Not going to make it. Liquids. No equipment. Yeah, see how we go with that. See if we can upgrade our gloves again. Yep, thank you. 6282. Gloves. Done. Two bucks. Two bucks left, but that's good. Let's go and have a look at this ship quickly. Wow, well, this thing is going to be even bigger than last time. Right here, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode and this um, teardown of Caroline Part 1 and 2. If you did, smash that like button, leave a comment. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Prado. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.